Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include Commission report recommends an interesting strategy for negotiating with Russia 50,000 more immigrants on their way EU crime tsunami is predicted Pound sterling safe haven status in jeopardy Sinking Portuguese bank Banif Financial Group in critical need of a bailout Plus, Baroness Ashton takes the EU Circus Showcase to South America. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage. Our legislation section carries this report which recommends that a new relationship agreement be developed with Russia. The report notes that Russia has thus far only shown selective interest in such an agreement, but goes on to recommend that focus on a substantial and legally binding chapter be devoted to energy. Securing a regulated pricing rate for energy provision should be an interesting challenge for our EU commissioners, particularly in light of the price hikes from Gazprom and the fact that the Russian economy is built off the back of energy provision. A shocking panorama investigation. 600,000 illegal immigrants operating in criminal gangs and prostitution rackets in Britain. This is a harrowing and moving report. The article highlights some appalling holes in the UK immigration system. This is an area of deep concern for many Britons and a situation which is set to escalate as the doors will soon be open to a further 50,000 immigrants. The failing Eurozone appears to be shedding part of its risk onto pound sterling. This article considers the pound's safe haven status as traders warn that a weakening pound is creating uncertainty in the market. This is interesting timing as we reported only last week that the German Bundesbank was to repatriate gold and rumours denied at the time suggested that an imminent currency crisis might be looming. Banif SGPS, the Portuguese lender, is at critical mass and requires a 1 billion euro bailout. The European Commission has set out stringent restructuring plans which must be met if the bank is to avoid breaching EU illegal state aid legislation. The lender has until the 31st of March to achieve the restructuring plan. Now it looks like the fiscal fudging is still failing to stem the flow from the dike and more cracks are already appearing on the horizon as further possible bailouts for Spain, Greece and Ireland loom. As always, we'll keep a watching brief and keep you posted. Cathy Ashton is back on the tracks. This time she's herding them up and riding them out as she leads the EU travelling circus to Peru and Chile. This article has all the details as our high representative titivites and tantalises with tales of the inexhaustible ECB funding charge card. Looks like Mr Draghi is going to need more German gold to share up the Heidelbergs as our Commission Vice President gets the beers in for our Peruvian cousins. Today in our video library we have the full speech that was delivered by David Cameron on Britain's relationship with the European Union. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e Unit, and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. And finally, our The Word programme is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. <laughs>